Hey everybody, Ace Maven here. Just a Vox Machina super fan sharing what I know. But I don't know everything, so if you know better, leave a comment below. Today we're going to be talking about how to play uh, stockpile mode in Vox Machina. And so we have our standard set, in, set up here for our tutorial, Serpent Plains, uh, 10 minutes. And I've got my Gold Rush, all cannons, and we're just going to jump right in. So let's do it. All right, so stockpile. Stockpile mode. Capture the factories. Benefit from their perks. Hold control of the factories to earn points. Get the most points in 10 minutes to win. You got it. All right, so here we actually spawn right in fuel, and you see this counter ticking up. <clears throat> And so actually, let me point this out real quick. See this tower is actually a timer. Uh, it goes from the top here. So say this was an enemy's uh, factory and I landed in it and there were no enemies within the circle. If this were theirs, it'd be like red and it would start ticking down and I'll show you this. And then I wait yeah, here and it'll start ticking back station. up. And that's what you want to do. You basically, and as soon as you have a factory, you start earning points. So this is an important part of stockpile. Sometimes people will spend so much time battling over the um, battling over factories that they forget to like go and capture the ones that are free, and they're actually missing out on points. So here's the radar station. You see it's red. This little hopper guy's running away. So we're going to fly over here and try to capture it. So you see it has all the light bars here. And so here, check this out. Right now I actually cannot see any enemies on my radar because they own the radar. So here the lights go down, down, even those have to go all the way down. Now it's lost, now it's open, and now it has to go back up. So now, actually I can, if they were close enough, I'd be able to see them and they'd be able to see me for the radar. Now I have the radar, so technically they cannot see me on their radar. So each factory gives perks. You saw we were at gas, and here you can tell which ones we have. We have fuel, armor, hey that's good, and radar. So let me talk a tiny bit about this. So that's pretty much it. Um, if there's an enemy in the circle, you would have to, you know, blow them up first before you can start to capture it. Oh, here you can see the enemies coming now. Um, so let me just run through what these give real quick. I have to blow these guys up real, real fast just for fun. Let's hang. Part of the, part of the good times here. Not too close to that laser beaming. All right. So now watch. He'll get in the circle, and I'm not in there. So see, it starts ticking down. Now let me get in here. Ha! Ah, see, now it stopped. So we're both in here. So one of us either has to leave the circle, which he just did, thank you, or we'd have to blow the other one up. So now I still have it, and it's full. So let me run through what these do real quick, because that's pretty much the basics of salvage. And the more factories you have, the more points you get. So once you hold a factory for 20 seconds, you get one point. So if you hold multiple factories, obviously you're getting more points over time. So that's what you really want to do. You want to hold sort of the majority of factories for the majority of the time and you'll wind up winning the game. So let me run through what these are. So fuel, uh, just what it sounds like, gives you extra fuel. So you can fly, kind of, let's say like twice as far or so. Uh, armor is a really huge uh, boost huge buff. Uh, it really can be very hard to penetrate armor. I mean, it could take twice as many shots to blow someone up. So a lot of a lot of teams will often go after armor as one of their first ones. But again, don't forget, you want to at least capture some factories and start getting points. Assembly line means that you'll spawn faster. So if you, if you eject, you'll spend like five seconds or something in the hangar uh, instead of like 20. So assembly line is actually pretty good um, because you, you come back very quickly. So you see the score just changed. We had uh, four of these things and we, so we got another multiple points and they only got a couple. Uh, 
Cooling, basically that's your heat, so that, that will help you cool faster, which means you can, you know, shoot more, shoot more indefinitely. And radar, like I explained, if you, if you hold radar, the other team cannot see you, and vice versa. So let's go see, probably all of the, um, all of the bots at this point are at coolant. That's probably where they're spawning. So there's probably very little really reason to try to get this because I mean there's just gonna be like nine of them here. Yeah, I can see it's <laughs> like that. Uh, you know, there's no one actually in it. So here's another little trick. You can fly right into <laughs> that tower as sort of a what a player goldbreaker calls the e-break or emergency break. You can just now you see we have assembly, so we're ready to get back in the game really quickly. Here's our silly bots over here spawning. And that's basically it, that's stockpile. So it's when you're working multiplayer, uh, it's good to communicate. You know, sometimes it's good to split up and say, you know, I'm going to radar, you're going to armor, you know, let's get them, we can get them. But you know, if you really want one, you might want to team up. One thing you don't really want to do is have your entire team popping between factories. Yeah, you'll capture the factory, as soon as you leave for the next one, they're going to jump in and basically take it. And you'll never hold them long enough to actually get points. So you do want to spread out a little bit uh, to make sure you capture them. So that's how you play Stockpile. Um, I could do a few kind of advanced tips and tricks in another video, like how to really land uh, quickly. Let me show you how to do that because this is actually a pretty handy thing to know. First have to destroy that wall. All right, there we go. So this, uh, this is one of these things where, you know, you sometimes you want to get in fast. You know, so here I am flying in. Oh my gosh, what's going to happen? I'm going to crash. But it's like, oop, oop. <laughs> That was a little off because it actually switched sizes on me. They're bigger when you're farther away and then smaller when you get closer. And uh, it switched sizes just as I was coming in. So that was a bad example. But you can actually run into the tower uh, when you're flying and it will stop you with, with very minimal, if, if any, damage at all. So something maybe a little more, a little less dramatic, but, you know, kind of like this, boom, and then you're on top of it, you're already in the circle. So you can do that from a great distance, too. Um, that's about it. So hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, leave them in the comments below. And keep an eye out for the other tutorial videos. There's uh, how to play salvage. That's a that's a very important one. Is online, and I'll be making a how to play deathmatch uh, as well. And then some tutorials on the different weapons, the different mechs, the different worlds. So lots more to come. So stay tuned. All right. Thanks everyone. Ace Maven. I'll catch you in the catch you in box.